Hi, friends. I'm Pastor Jack Mantrick, pastor at Central United Methodist Church right here in Waterford, Michigan. And this is my daily devotion for Wednesday, July 21. We've been talking about starting new habits uh, and rewriting our stories in ways that will bring honor to God, honor to ourselves, and, uh, and just uh, living a life uh, that we want to live and that we would be proud to share. So uh, we've been talking about uh, Daniel, uh, the famous Daniel uh, in the lion's den, and how the one, the one discipline of prayer that he had begun probably at the uh, uh, instruction of his parents, uh, he decided to pray. And he prayed three times a day. And I suggested yesterday in my daily devotion that that discipline of prayer probably led Daniel to other disciplines as well. Disciplines that uh, involved integrity and diligence and honesty. And he became a valued advisor for King Darius, uh, a Mede who was uh, uh, overseeing the area of Babylon. So, Daniel had found favor with uh, those uh, in the government under which he served. He had found favor with God, and he had found favor uh, with those who share his faith. So his story is told that uh, he should um, that, that that he is a man of integrity because of that one discipline, that key discipline of prayer that enabled him to become the man uh, who was so well revered in our scriptures. So I asked the question on Sunday morning, how do we start a new habit? And I did a little research and I came across an article that was written by Michelle Crouch and uh, based on the research of a behavioral science scientist from Wisconsin, Susan Wainchenk, and she has seven what she calls science-based tips that will help you develop habits. And so I shared those on Sunday so that we might... Uh, come to the point of writing new chapters of our lives, chapters that will make a difference in the lives of others, chapters that will honor God, chapters that will demonstrate faith uh, for others. So I'm going to quickly go through these seven tips today. Then we're going to start a process tomorrow of uh, deciding when you can start a new habit. And uh, here's the hint. Yesterday should have been the day to start a new habit, but uh, let's move forward. So those seven tips are first, start small and specific. Start with small and specific actions. No one uh, no one wakes up some morning and say, today I'm going to lose 50 pounds. But rather you can wake up and say, look, I'm not going to have a candy bar with lunch and I'm going to take a 10 minute walk rather than just sit around. So start small and specific. Second, pick a trigger or an anchor for your new practice. You might want to, uh, if you want to be uh, uh, exercise and uh, you want a trigger to get you into your exercise clothes to go out and take a walk or to take a jog or a bike ride, uh, have it be when you um, take your vitamins in the morning. Or um, maybe the first thing you do in the morning is brush your teeth. Let that be the trigger. Say, okay, I'm brushing my teeth. Now I got to put on my clothes and take a walk. <laughs> you know, anchor it with a specific action uh, is very helpful. Third is find pleasure in a new discipline. Find how you can enjoy a new discipline. Um, I suggested in the message that uh, one discipline that my wife and I had is we had four children and family of five. Uh, there was quite a bit of ironing involved. And so we we could only iron if we were watching a television show. Or you could only, let me put that in the, in the other way, but we could only watch TV if we were ironing. Uh, so, um, so, you know, we wouldn't just be enjoying a, a program, but we would be getting something done for the good of the family. Next is try temptation bundling. That is, uh, try to work together in doing things that would uh, let you uh, enjoy what you're doing along with something else. Uh, temptation bundling is sort of uh, uh, picking something that you enjoy doing, uh, like listening to an audio book. And so you listen to an audio book when you're on uh, the treadmill. So, and that way, if that gets you on the treadmill and helps you stay on the treadmill, then, you know, do that temptation building. Uh, fifth, uh, slide a good habit into the space occupied by a bad habit. 
you know, you can still have a snack in the afternoon. Just don't make it a calorie rich and processed snack. You know, don't don't have a donut. Uh, maybe have a, a cup of tea, uh, you know, to relax in the afternoon if you take a break. And then the sixth tip would be uh, redesign your environment, uh, especially for those of us who try to, uh, you know, uh, limit our calories and keep our weight down. Uh, you just don't want a, a, a bunch of um, uh, a bunch of uh, fattening and calorie rich foods in your house. Uh, boy, when I was uh, <laughs> uh, single and uh, I never I could never buy a bag of potato chips uh, because, uh, as Jay Leno says, an open bag is an empty bag. So I just did not buy chips because the moment I'd uh, open it, it'd be uh, two thirds gone the first day and then gone the next day completely. So, you know, try to control your environment. Uh, try not to go to restaurants uh, where the food is just too tempting for you and, uh, you know, go to, to other uh, restaurants uh, that might have salad options or more healthy options. Just control that environment in which you're trying to do good things. If you're trying to stop drinking or, um, uh, well, that's a good one. So if you're trying to stop drinking, don't hang out in bars. Uh, don't don't uh, have um, uh, alcoholic beverages in your home or don't go to parties where you know alcohol is going to be uh, um, in abundance and uh, kind of pushed on to you. All right. And then finally, celebrate the wins. Hey, look, trying to make a change for the positive in your life is difficult enough. So take the time to celebrate your wins along the way. When you have participated in a new habit that is uh, going to help you write a new and great uh, chapter to your life, celebrate that and enjoy uh, that uh, accomplishment in your life. So each of these tips, friends, were explained during the message. You can go on to our website here at Central United Methodist Church and see the message in its totality. Um, and sort of uh, uh, refresh uh, what all those tips are. They're in your notes also, if you were there or, or online taking notes. So here's the question. Which of these tips do, do you easily connect with? Um, which ones uh, really do not apply to your life? Which ones would not be helpful? Which ones don't match with your personality style? And which tips excite you? You know, what, which tips say, yeah, I can do that. I can, I, that sounds like a really good idea. So contemplate these tips for starting a new habit. And then, uh, you know, today record your thoughts. Try to, try to understand um, uh, what, how, they could, uh, how they could facilitate a change in your life and the bringing about of a new habit. Let's pray. Gracious God, we do uh, thank you for your presence with us. We want to live lives, Lord, that are of the best uh, quality for ourselves, for our relationships with others, and, and for our relationship with you. We ask that you inspire us to be the people that you've created us to be. And we ask for your strength and your guidance. In Christ's name, amen. Have a great day, friends, and God bless.